Well, hello everyone and welcome to Yorkshire Gamer. Um, today I'm going to be doing a quick review on some 28mm Italian Wars Spanish figures. Uh, these are from Artisan Designs, they're sold by North Star Figures. Um, you can see the details there of North Star. And uh, many of you will know me for Italian Wars stuff, and uh, my collection to date has been based around the early part of those wars, the Four Novo campaign, and um, uh, French, uh, Italians, and Swiss. And uh, I'm going to move up a few years and uh, get some early Spanish. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, the figures that I've bought. Uh, how I'm going to use them and uh, compare them to other figure manufacturers that I've used and just give you an idea of size etc. So let's dive in and have a look at some of the figures. So I'm going to build a Spanish Colunella and for that I'm going to have four bases of pike with some command figures in four bases of shot and two bases of sword and buckler. Um, so these figures I've ordered direct from um, North Star, and they've arrived in a mix of plasters and plastic uh, things like this, and also just plastic bags with figures in. And um, I've not opened any of these, uh, so what you're seeing in terms of uh, flash-on figures, etc., is what I've got. Uh, when I've bought them. So we'll open this one up first. This is the Spanish Commanders and uh, four figures to the pack and we'll just bring them forward to the camera there. We've got some nice detail a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a mould line there but we can uh, soon shake that off and uh, second figure uh, much lighter armour on that guy and uh, drummer nice faces on on these I like those uh, very much i think all, these will paint up quite nicely lots of uh, lots of detail oh arm stick on there uh, again a little bit of a mold line there but in general very very nice uh, oh i think he's glad to see us looking at that uh, so that's the uh, commander's pack and uh, we've got various shields and uh, hand weapons etc in there and uh, there's matey boys sword arm so that's the uh, commanders let's have a look at a pack of the handgunners next um i think there are two different packs this is uh Renaissance 206 handgunners number two and again i've not opened these uh until uh, we're looking at the video now so this is as you get them uh direct so we have got a uh, nice detail there, we've got a hole in there, I'm guessing that that's for uh, a dagger or sword. Nice uh, detail there on the clothing, that will uh, brush up nicely with my painting technique. Uh, classic, classic Spanish uh, helmet on this guy, very very nice. And. Uh, Another one, a lot of people I know have been using the uh, War Games Atlantic Conquistador figures for Spanish for the Italian Wars. Unfortunately, I think they've sold out everywhere. Uh, this chap looks like he's got an Italian World War II helmet on looking at it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's lovely. We've got all the little spare swords. So that's the handgun. There's two separate boxes of that. Moving on to the next pack, uh, we've got uh, Spanish Pikeman 2, uh, Renaissance 203. Again, there's a couple of variations of these chaps, uh, two boxes, two different boxes. And uh, they're all uh, standing at the ready, or uh, sorry, at ease uh, with the pike upright. Uh, so, whereas if you've seen with my other stuff that I've done, I've had like a progressive um, leveled to upright from uh, front to back with the pike um, these guys are all going to be upright uh, so i'm kind of not stuck but i am uh, limited uh, by the poses of the figures so there we go that's the threat again they come with separate swords and uh, with no pike but you can uh, as i did they do a, they do a, a pike 
sort of block deal and you choose which figures you want and uh, they include some pikes in with that so that was and that was good value actually that was uh, knocks a few quid off uh, what I bought so that was absolutely perfect and then the final different type we've not seen all the figures I'm not going to bore you to death yet I'm just giving you an idea of the uh, the type of um, and the, the the style of the figures um this is the other type uh so we've looked at the command we've looked at the shot we've looked at the pike and these are the sword and buckler men so uh again it was uh, a tactic used quite often by the spanish and by the italians as well uh to have these sword and buckler men who were lighter armed and the idea was that they would swiftly move in and out of the pike ranks um and use mobility uh, to uh, get in and uh, cause damage to uh, the pike block. So got some details of these guys here. A lot of these um, have got uh, arms that will need gluing on, and uh, the very special uh, or unrecognisable uh, Spanish shield type, which is this one here. It's kind of like a heart shaped double heart shape or kidney shape I think I've heard it called before um, and uh, so in that uh, pack we've got arms we've got uh, shields we've got extra swords so that's the the packs that you get there are two uh, different types of sword and buckler two different types of pike two different pike types of shot and uh, the command so let's have a quick look at how they uh, compare in size with uh, some of the other stuff that I've got so here's a quick overview of some of the shot figures. Um, I've used shot rather than pike, just so that the, the pikes aren't getting in the way of your uh, sense of uh, perception. Um, so to your left, as you're looking at this, um, I've got uh, some periplastics and metals from uh, the European Army's range, and that's from my uh, PayPal uh, pike block. Uh, in the centre, we've got two unpainted North Star figures, and then to your right, uh, we've got some uh, tag figures from my Borgia Pike block. So I'll just pause the video, change the camera angle, and we'll have a look at how they uh, line up proportion-wise. So hopefully with that angle, you can see a bit better the size comparison. Um, the tag on the right, a lot thinner, but around about the same size, maybe a little bit slightly smaller in, in stature. Uh, to the Perry's to the left, um, about the same size, um, but uh, again, a little bit less in stature. The uh, the North Star stuff is a little bit chunkier, uh, which is no problem at all. You know, we're working with mostly plastic figures on the left, and the the Perry's are well known for their um, atomically anatomically uh, correct uh, poses and figures, etc. So uh, no. Uh, suspect there and then the tag stuff on the right um as i say a little bit spindlier so i'll just spin everything around so it's facing the camera so uh, there's a, there's a front view shot for you as you can see same height as the perry's just very very slightly higher than the tag stuff a little bit thicker um stature but no major difference, I don't think. I think these will mix in perfectly well uh, with either of, of these brands that I uh, use for my main army. So there's the figures. That's how they look. Um, I haven't got any painted yet, but I will do some uh, shortly. So uh, let's ha have a look at how I'm going to use them within a Spanish army. Okay, so this is how I am going to use them on the tabletop. And this is my representation of a Colunella, the earlier type of uh, Spanish formation, which is, if, you, if you're not aware, it's a mixed formation of pike, sword and butler, and um, shot. So um, I've got, I've stuck to the basing regime that I've used already for the stuff that I've got. So uh, for pike, I have eight figures per base. For shot, I have four figures per base. And then for anything else, and in this case, sword and buckler, I have six figures per base. So I'm just going to lift the camera up a little bit so that you're going to get more of a view of the unit as a whole. There you go. There's a 
kind of overhead view and uh, just give you an idea the, the figures themselves that you're looking at all I've done to them is shave the bases so that they stand up straight so any flash that you see on the figures is the flash that uh, came when I bought them and to be honest there isn't that much um, there are a few guys without arms I've not stuck arms on I haven't stuck shields on I haven't stuck weapons on um, so just bear that in mind while, you, while you're looking at this and uh, the sword and buckler troops uh, as we said earlier on they were they were used in melee they would come forward and fight in between the pikes of the uh, opponents or go around the flanks so these uh, two bases at the front here normal gameplay they would be at the rear and then they would come forward to uh, to fight melees etc the um the wings of shot um would be probably bring this base out to here um, I've got to do a bit of playtesting with how they're going to work within the set of rules that we have. Nobody knows exactly how um, they operated. I'm sure there's a couple of people who, who will um, tell you exactly, but nobody really knows. Um, and this is my interpretation. This is how I'm going to use them. There are 60 figures here in total. And... Uh, my rough figure scale is about 20 to 1, so that would give you uh, 1,200 men for this Colunella. And estimates are that they were around about 1,000 to 1,500. So I'm very happy with that. Um, you know, if I'm adding extra bases in with, with what I've got here, I'm going to go, you know, a, a bit over. Um, but I'm happy with the proportions that I have here. Um, four bases of pike, four bases of shot, two bases of sword and buckler. So that is the uh, North Star figures, highly recommended from me. This slot cost just shy of £100, including postage and packing, £98.80 for what you can see here. Um, compared to plastics, yeah, it's, uh, you know, 60 figures with the conquistadors would but they're about a pound a figure they're quite expensive for plastics that will cost you about 60 quid but as i say you can't get the um the conquistador box set at the moment anywhere that i'm aware of and some people myself included prefer paying that a little bit extra for uh the metal figures so these are north star i'm going to buy another colunella from uh, the Assault Group who are coming to Fiasco in a couple of weeks time in Leeds and uh, if you don't know already our annual show at uh, Leeds Royal Armouries is uh, on uh, last Sunday in October and uh, I will be there putting on an uh, Italian Wars game so please come along and say hello if you see me and uh, that's it tag sorry uh, North Star Italian Wars Spanish recommended i will be painting them during the analog hobbies winter paint challenge 22 23 thanks for watching <laughs>